Welcome. In front of me, I have the new laptop from Huawei. So, uh, the name of the box is a little bit misleading. It's called Huawei MateBook Series. Series what? So, to actually figure out what it is, so we can just flip it over to the side. And this is the 16S. Anyway, let's just open it up. So, I need to rip off the foil first. Way. See, if there's a non-damaging way. Nope, there doesn't seem to be one. So I just tear it apart. I think the best way I can open it up is by having this on my lap and then just putting components on the table because I don't have enough space to do it on here. So. Bear with me while I try to figure this out. Oof. Anyway, I'll just uh, cut this open. There we go. So, quick look inside before I start taking things out is looking eat out of my way there we go hopefully you can see this pretty well so we do have a cable right here we do have a hefty charger i assume surprisingly this is 90 watts which i just did an unboxing of nova what was it a huawei nova uh, 10 pro which comes with a 100 watts charger it's interesting that their laptop comes with a shittier charger than than a phone anyway then we get the actual laptop. I'm gonna take these off. Now I'm not gonna bother with the paperwork, so let's just drop that back in there. And here we get the laptop. So this is a massive device oh, for a laptop. It is a 16 inch. size as you'd probably guess from the actual from the actual name of it so there we go see if we can do a single finger open and we kind of can it slides a little bit but it's doable so that is huge so, there's our display. Anything? Uh, let's grab a cable, I guess. Can I now turn it on? Now I know for a fact, oh there we go, it's finally turning on, uh, that the battery is most likely charged, though it needs to be plugged in to be turned on for some odd reason. This was the case with the uh, MateBook E, uh, which is like their tablet one. So I needed to literally plug it in and I assume if I unplug it right now, she'll be fine unless I'm incorrect about this one, and it's not. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, keyboard spacing pretty good. The display is absolutely massive. Now, obviously on the camera, you won't get to see this as clearly, but this is a 16 inch screen. So it is huge. And also it is a 16 by 10 instead of 16 by nine, as you might be used to. And Jesus freaking Christ, this tablet, uh, this to set up your device using a screen reader, turn... No. So, this uh, little surface for the touchpad is absolutely freaking massive. Like, it's almost my entire hand. Like, this thing is huge. 
just as a comparison this is a like almost seven inch phone put on top of this touchpad it, it's basically the same size it's a little bit uh, wider and shorter but geez that thing is an absolute this this thing could be a screen in itself now anyway um I'm not gonna really go through the setup just because it's a little bit annoying and this is only a Windows 11 so it's not like there is much to uh, to show you. So I'm gonna close it up. There we go. <laughs> Flip it over so you can see just the nice little aesthetic right here. Put the charger. All oh, right. Uh, it also comes. This is the one that I bought. It came with uh, a mouse. So. It was in the box with the laptop from Huawei directly, so thumbs up. It's a Bluetooth mouse, so you can just wirelessly connect it, should be pretty nice. Now to quickly go over the actual specs of this, um, I'm gonna go through general specs, not just like this one, so because there are a couple different versions of this uh, laptop, uh, particularly with RAM and processors. So. Let's just start from the top. We're looking at Windows 11 Home. Uh, nothing special right here. This is a 16-inch display IPS, a 90% screen-to-body ratio with a 3x2 aspect ratio. So it's actually not even 16x9 or 16x10. It's actually even uh, bigger, so it's almost square. Uh, it is a 2520 by 1680 uh, pixel display, which puts it at 189 pixels per inch for a tablet or not tablet but laptop this size this is really dense uh, brightness apparently maxes is max out at 300 nits which is actually quite low I would consider but this is like the spec mentioned an IPS display so you might not be having much fun using this outside but indoors it should be plenty bright color gamut is hundred percent sRGB uh, color accuracy average of uh, delta E uh, greater than 1. Contrast ratio uh, 1500 to 1 with viewing angles of 178 degrees. So these are basically a uh, screen, which they're pretty okay. Now moving on to processors. All of the options run a 12th gen Intel Core, either i9, i7 or i5. Now the actual like name of it would be the i9. It's 1200 or 12,900H. I7 is a 12,700H, and then i5 is 12,500H. So these are the laptop versions of processors. That's why there is an H at the end. Uh, they are a little bit less power hungry processors, uh, and also won't be as powerful as the desktop equivalent of it. But still, it's an i12, so it's already a freakishly powerful processor in its own uh, you shouldn't have much problem with this device just being slow or anything like that it's not a thing especially with processors like this uh, even at the lowest end with the i5 this thing should be just breezing through everything that you throw at it now in terms of graphics we don't have any dedicated graphics cards the only one we have is the intel iris x graphics which is the integrated one with the processor now, memory, we have apparently only one, which is a 16 gigabyte uh, LPDDDR5. So it's a DDR5 just soldered on to the motherboard. Now, because of that, you cannot upgrade it later on. So a little bit of a bummer, but also it's not like you have a choice right here between different amounts of RAM. 16 is the only option you have. Now, in terms of storage, we have a PCIe MVME. Uh, SSD in here and you have two options to pick from either 512 gigs or one terabyte now 512 is already pretty uh, decent for a laptop I would say um, and that is something that you should be able to switch out later on so I don't think you need to buy a you know for instance like a bigger storage just to be safe because this shouldn't be soldered onto the motherboard thus you can switch it up later on uh, capacity of the battery is 84 uh, watts, watt hours, and uh, then we have what is this? Um, well, Bluetooth uh, uh, 5.2. We have 
I assume Wi-Fi 6, but it's not really specified. Uh, in terms of port switch that I can actually show, we have a OK port selection right here. Let me just get the light a little bit better. So we have uh, double USB uh, ports right here, type A. And these look to be just a typical uh, like crappy USB, not, uh, not 3.2. Although on their spec list it does say that it's 3.2, so I, whoops, so I assume it has to be. So yeah, uh, it appears that this one is USB A 3.2 Gen 1. Um, then we have USB C, so the one that supports power delivery right here. Oh, focus. So it looks like it's this one. It should be this one. This one probably is a Thunderbolt. Yeah, uh, Thunderbolt. So another Type-C right here, uh, it supports Thunderbolt, uh, data transfer, uh, charging, and also DisplayPort. And then we have a dedicated HDMI uh, port along with a headphone jack. And that's about all you have in here. So there we go, not much more to say about this uh, device, apart from maybe one last thing, uh, full HD uh, selfie camera right here. So if you open it up, kind of like flip it over you have a uh, this oh my goodness that is absolutely minuscule so this thing right here is a camera and this is a 1080p full hd camera though it doesn't really say the megapixels of it judging by how it looks like i wouldn't expect anything significant so anyway um that's basically it for the unboxing and just a spec run so if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.